Fucking dark ass thing. All right, welcome back to the channel. Um, we took the other uh, the little fitting off that was right here. I got this one off Amazon, so I'm gonna see if it works. I'm gonna go pull up the car. Well, not pull it up because I got some some shit I'm trying to do tonight. So I gotta go pick up some fuel, but I'm gonna put a little bit of fuel in here just to see if this is gonna leak, which I don't think it would because the, this shit is pretty snug. Um, first of all, man, welcome back to the channel. I was pissed off because this shit was leaking, but I'm trying to get it sorted out. Obviously, we took everything off, the exhaust is off, everything is off. We're getting it sorted out, and then there's, there's a leak up here in front of the I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it. There's a little leak right there from the damn little coolant line, but we won't get to that. All right, we got everything back, so let's see. We got the exhaust back there. Everything's back in place. The wire is tucked back up over there. She's over there, so it shouldn't leak. We'll have to go put some fuel in it right now and test to see if it's gonna leak. Exhaust is back. And I also fixed this little, uh, up there, the airline. The airline was leaking. Got that fixed almost like my phone in this one. The stop turbo is crazy. Look at this. Got a stop turbo. That's the monkey down plate. See that? Stop turbo, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, all right. Change my license plate to the carry on killer. Haha. <laughs> She's about to destroy this motherfucker. Look <laughs> at that right, Shadow. <laughs> oh, that'd be dope. Shadow. Yeah, Shadow. You all the way down? Yeah. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Bro, you look like the leather that's wrapped in my car interior. Oh, black ass. <laughs> look like it's all good for now. No more leaks. Little fitting I got work. I'll show you guys which one I ended up getting. It's one of the ones that are supposedly E85 compatible. Damn, look at that exhaust though. Shit. Damn. Tommy. <laughs> look at the shadow. The shadow room. <laughs> oh, we got the Evo back. But he took it apart as soon as he got it back. I'm supposed to be doing a video on it, but. Bro, why'd you paint this shit black? It's, uh, it's supposedly better when it's black, it's cooler. And they got it crooked, so. Took the turbo off. She might want to get new bolts for that shit. <laughs> We're back. The turbo! This <laughs> is <laughs> with a turbo! I'm waiting for it to come in. You want to show them a picture of what it's going to look like? Oh, yeah. You back outside again, huh? That's what the turbo going to look like? No. Oh, snap. And then go four facing turbo. Okay, yeah, all he needs a half radiator and a little hose. Good. Bro, look at this. the coolest thing about the Super that I like, bro. You need to get in the car? You got to open the door, bro. That's how I left my window down. What's this? This shit, bro. It's like BMW shit right there, bro. Hmm. That's cool. You both got that? <laughs> no. All right, so you guys saw the last, um, the little fuel connector wire thingy. I got this one for, uh, the Evo. Um, it's a little fuel connector wire thingy. I got this one from, was it Aftermarket Industries, right? Because this one's supposed to be able to handle up to 350 PSI, and I don't think the fuel tank could be that much so obviously you see that the wires don't run all the way through the wires connect on these terminals let me put this up the wires are connect on these terminals right here so the wire don't run all the way through the issue i was having is fuel is leaking through where the wires connect so i was having a problem with that i also had to run the harbor freight to get these little uh step bits to in order to drill this out up to one inch i think it was Nine millimeters, 96 millimeters, close to one inch, I guess. So this is how the old one was. So obviously the wires are run all the way through that. And then they come back out here, and then you're supposed to tighten it with this. And then it's supposed to tighten down on the wires. Yeah, that shit wasn't working right. So I'm gonna eliminate the run through, and I'm gonna just have the terminals on each end. 
We should be good. We're about to see. <laughs> all right, so this is how. All right, so this is how this is gonna work. All right. I got both. <laughs> I got both y'all in the shot. All right, so as you can see, I took the other one out. Got to put a terminal here, and then the wires. I'm gonna have to cut it. Put another one on this end, and then we should be good. This shit shouldn't leak because this is metal, and the other one was plastic, and that's probably why it was leaking. Probably why. I don't know. We'll see. Flip the camera around, okay? Put the camera around right quick. Flip the camera around, bro. <laughs> okay, so this, this is what I was talking about. See, I had to drill it off, but this right here is going to be a lot more stable than the wires running all the way through. This right here is like tied in there. Fuel pressure or fuel PSI or the PSI is good for like 350 PSI. I don't think you're going to need that in the fuel tank. But we should be good to see how it works out. All right, so we, we got that replaced. I put some uh, RTV around that, so that way, focus. Put some RTV around the positive, but other than that, everything's all good. We zip tie everything up, and put everything back on under here and get up out of here. Uh, I did fix that little coolant leak that was up there. So that's good. 